welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Starting off very glamorous today. I'm just full on going to start taking out this brush out, I think. Look how pretty this is, by the way. So I was looking back through a lot of my recent videos and I realized that I have done a lot of sort of sit down talky, or sit down stand up, talking through videos and I do have a couple more of those planned. I have my two part confidence on camera series as I'm sat here filming this. Um, they will be out by the time that you are watching this video. But I thought I haven't done sort of a dynamic vintage fashion, vintage life style video in what feels like a really long time and now that we are able to sort of go out and do more things then I wanted to show you sort of a fashion diary of a week of my outfits. So it is uh, my week off from work and I am doing quite a lot of fun things and I am going to be wearing some really cute outfits like I already have most of them planned out and it was bank holiday Monday yesterday and I looked really cute but I didn't know I was going to be doing this video until this morning um, but you will be able to see that really cute look in my confident in photo shoots video which I will link in a card up there so I really really hope you enjoy and I think this video is already going to be quite long so I'm just going to let you get straight into it Of a big sun hat I chose this really cute floral parasol from British Retro to look like the most extra person ever. It has the added benefit of keeping the sun off the backs of your shoulders and even though it was swelteringly hot I am dedicated so I wore my favourite ivory Doris Designs petticoat underneath this really cute dress. This is from Miss Candy Floss. It's one of the only plain dresses I have but it's just in a really sweet lovely pink colour and I think it looks really pretty for summer. For accessories, I'm wearing this pearl necklace that my parents got for me as a gift from their holiday in Tenerife, as well as some earrings that you totally can't see because of the shadows, but they are silver hearts with a little pink stone in to match the dress. For shoes, I went barefoot for most of the day, but when I did have to actually leave the house, I wore my Bait MC Sunrise shoes in this gorgeous pink colour that almost perfectly matches my dress for the ultimate Pleasantville 50s vibes. Such a gorgeous perfume. This is the Richie Richie fragrance by Nina Richie, and I wear it, and it always takes me back to summers in Cambridge when I was a teenager. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> so, this beautiful dress is an actual, genuine, true 1950s dress. It's absolutely stunning, as you can see, and it just has the most flattering cut. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. I cannot. My hair is the brushed out version of the set that you saw yesterday. It survived pretty well despite the heat. Um, my makeup, as you saw, was all lovely blues and a little bit of peach with this gorgeous red lip from Bessemé. Very, very glowy and gorgeous. 
And this beautiful, super sparkly bracelet, look at its sparkle, is from Swarovski and I got it on a skiing holiday. Also paired with these beautiful true vintage earrings which are blue to match the flocks on the dress. Keeping with the blue accessories theme, I'm wearing one of my favourite pairs of heels from Lulu Hun. They are baby blue and white and they have cute little bows. Successfully navigated unfamiliar city centre traffic. I think I should get gold stars for that. <laughs> It's like 28 degrees, oh my goodness. I need to get out of this car. Everybody's raving about the real fancy two step. Everybody wants to do this more fancy new step. It's a funny bear, carrots on a tear. Will I do it's declare so it's classy? Big up to the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer because it was like four pounds and it kept my eyeshadow on in 30 degree heat. <laughs> Look at this, no creasing, no anything. Absolutely amazing, but now I am dead. So I'm gonna need an outfit change. Give me a sec. Ta-da! <laughs> So I have had a few things to do this morning but nothing is sort of interesting enough for me to vlog. Um, you will be able to see that it is very bright. It is not as sunny as it was yesterday but it's still very very hot and humid which is so good, so good. Um, but I am going out later with um, a few of my friends. I think we're going to the pub, so I'm really excited for that. Um, this is not my full outfit yet. I'm not fully dolled up, so I will show you the full outfit later on. I'm going to do some a review of my Secrets and Lace purchases, which are absolutely beautiful. Miss Audrey Monroe, who, by the way, sweetest person. Absolutely lovely. I've spoken to her a bit on Instagram. But she's such a delight, so I definitely give her a follow. Um, but yeah, they're just a really high quality vintage lingerie company. And you guys know I love what Katie did. They are the only bras I wear, and I have loads of their coloured stockings. They're so beautiful. Um, but the Secrets and Lace ones are really gorgeous as well, and you'll be able to read more about that on my blog. evening out at Spoons I decided this beautiful off-the-shoulder cherry dress which I bought from my friend Strangest Vintage on Instagram was the perfect choice paired with my super comfy 1940s inspired sandals from Bait. These are the Brittany classic style. Because it was so hot I had to break out this beautiful fan. It matches the hair flower and I got both of these from Lady Bee Loves. And my makeup is very pretty, sort of pinks and green, these beautiful apple shaped earrings and a string of pearls. 
I cinched in the dress at the waist with a white belt and I threw on this beautiful bubblegum pink petticoat from Doris Designs which is so soft. Dr. Pepper. I now have to pick a new outfit. <laughs> I'm not emotionally prepared for that today. I picked my outfit. Oh. Oh. See, this is super cute. But the problem is, I'm dying. <laughs> It's so hot. <laughs> This was a super casual day so I just wore one of my favourite jumpsuits from Hearts and Roses. It's really really pretty. Blue with this pink car design. Paired it with this blue bow belt from Band Apparel. I got this free at Lady B Loves with their loyalty card schemes. Went with red for the accessories, so earrings from Warren James, hair flowers from Claire's, and this beautiful pearl bracelet that my nanny and granddad got me for my birthday a few years ago. And when I did go outside, I paired it with this beautiful pair of 1940s inspired heels from Hotter. This day was pretty chilled out. It did throw it down with rain almost the entire day, so couldn't really go outside much, but I spent the time doing a lot of editing and blog writing and captioning, and I had my good old trusty fizzy with me, of course. sure this is the most glamorous I have ever looked. Um, it threw it down with rain for most of the day so I didn't really get to do much and I'm gonna curl my hair and go to sleep. It is so humid. So humid. <laughs> handmade um, by Mira Mira Bijou which are a company on Etsy and they are from Vancouver in Canada so so I have a few things to do today I'm getting my nails done I will take you along with me and right now I need to change my bed because I spilled coke on it yesterday as you saw so 
let's do that. <laughs> since I went in it's now glorious beautiful sunshine I think I'm gonna go try and meet up with one of my friends now but oh my god look how gorgeous these are I've never had nails this long and I love them and listen I'm sorry if you don't like this noise but I love it so we are in the woods and I've just realized we're surrounded by spores and this is not good for this one, who is hideously allergic to the world. It's not too bad this year so far. To the world that's green. Let's see, what's the dominant colour? We'll update in like 10 minutes. The dominant colour that we are featuring. <laughs> Prayers for the scene, kid. Prayers indeed. <laughs> Wee! Update. Not dead. Still breathing. Still. Just about. Wow, this is really overexposed because of all the sun coming through the How do you look more tanned than me? What? How? Mm. Wait, are you more tanned than me? Oh, wow. Yes. yes. <gasps> this is not fair. This dress is by far one of my favorites in my entire collection. The way it fits, the rainbow pattern, it's just mm, it's so pretty and it's the perfect length to wear with a petticoat as well. For my makeup, I decided to go fairly simple, but with this gorgeous dark lip from Bessame Cosmetics. This is Blood Red from 1922. To intake enough fluids I would definitely recommend straws. So um, I just thought I would show you I get a lot of questions about how my hair lasts over a few different days and um, this is I haven't touched my hair since I woke up this is just how it was when I woke up this morning um, I didn't put a hairnet on it at all or anything last night while I slept I just um, put these clips in it and then left it like this so I'm going to take the clips out and then give it a brush so that you can see how that turns out there we go that's really pretty you can see so I'm really excited we're all going to the beach today um, just realised I didn't say what I was doing going to the beach today um, for a beach day so I'm gonna get ready and I will take you along with me and show you of course my really cute little outfit <laughs> I knew that past me had made a good decision but I couldn't remember what that good decision was and then I was like oh I'm hungry and I went downstairs and I found 
the pack of McCoys. Thanks, past me. Hmm. I'm still getting used to these. good look at my makeup this hair flower was free with the order of this dress from Miss Candy Floss and my gorgeous heart-shaped sunglasses which remind me of the Lana Del Rey song Diet Mountain Dew is from Pocket Watch and Petticoats this dress is so cute it's meant to be worn with shorts underneath so you can unbutton the skirt and have the shorts showing and it's just so cute it's really really light and buttons up with functional buttons all the way down the front has a coordinating belt and it's really really light and really well fitted and just looks gorgeous I'm wearing the same bait Britney sandals because they are my favourite sandals right now and they look really, really cute. I had an absolutely marvellous day at the beach and then we went to the pub as you saw I did manage to burn somehow like quite badly even though I put sunscreen on and then I kept reapplying <laughs> obviously didn't do a very good job um, so I'm going to cover myself in lots of body butter with aloe vera um, and put on a really soft dressing gown because I'm freezing cold <laughs> even though i can feel my arms and my chest where i burned are like radiating heat i am freezing so i need to get warm <laughs> and yeah i think i will just end this vlog here i really really hope that you enjoyed seeing this video and that i managed to make it entertaining and fun and that you love seeing my fashion diary as well as a snippet into my life maybe in the future i can do more of if you really liked it, this is going to be a beast to edit, so good luck future me. Yes, I love you all so very much and I will see you in my next video.